What is up guys, my name is Dunder Mifflin7, I am with the new gaming channel, The Gaming Musketeers, with three of my friends, uh, Tech Note with X's, Critical Blade 26 and Vorpal Blade 3 guys. We are a brand new YouTube gaming channel and uh, we're just um, four regular guys playing video games. So what I'm going to do today guys is I'm going to help you walk through Dishonored, the High, Cam uh, high Overseer Campbell campaign on the hardest difficulty. Now what I'm going to do guys is just walk you through getting two of the hardest achievements which are the... one moment the um where is it shadow complete all missions after the prologue without alerting anyone and the where is it clean hands complete the game without killing anyone including the overseer now there's another achievement for this it is called ghost complete all missions after the prologue alerting or killing no one but the key target so you can kill key targets such as the overseer but what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna help you get clean hands so this is my first video I hope you guys really enjoy let me know uh, what you think and um, here we go I'm gonna help you guys walk through it so what we're gonna do is we are going to first off pick a hard drive I'm going to go to missions. I'm going to go to the high overseer. Wait, hang on. Mission stats. Just to let you guys know, so I haven't I've been a ghost and I have not killed anyone and I found all the objects that I needed to find. So, hang on. Ah, here there we go. All right. So, we're going to start in the distillery district, guys, and I'm going to help you get through without being seen and without killing anyone. Now, what we're going to do in order to get past them is we're going to have to knock a few people out, but only knock them out. So, we'll just grab their necks and uh, lightly press as the enemy goes. So, this guy Samuel's going to explain a little bit. It'll be a rough trip. It used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. All right, guys. So the wall of light checkpoints. If you guys haven't played this game, and if you don't know, it is the uh, basically it's an electric wall of light, and you can't just go waltz through the front door. I mean, you can if you truly want to, but you won't get the achievement. You'll have to kill people, and you'll be seen in the process. The wall of light is an electric orb, and anyone who tries to walk through it gets zapped, and not only zapped, you get slaughtered. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to walk past all of these wall of lights. Now, one thing about this game that you guys should know: right now, I am standing up. And what you can do is push B, if you're playing Xbox, I don't know, on the PlayStation 3, but you push B and you are laying down. So you can tell the difference because of your, not laying, crouching, your sword. Your sword is up when you are standing up and it's to the side when you are crouched down. So another really cool thing about this game, guys, is you have magic. You have the ability to teleport faster than the speed of light and no one can see you when you do. So... Another thing that you have is this dark vision, which is my personal favorite. You can see enemies. Now, they turn yellow. He's going to kill this rat. People don't like rats. They turn yellow, and they have little orbs on their eyes to show their field of vision. So they can't see you. And we're going to uh, knock him out real quick, walk him over here, and drop him down. So, there we go. You can also see your feet, the noise you are making and uh, you're gonna really try to be quiet. There's a lady over here, you can pickpocket her if you want, you can talk to her, she's not gonna give you much, she's not gonna tell you anything. So, alright guys, here we go, we're gonna walk over here, past this guy, cause uh, he's got nothing. Um, guys, I don't know if you, uh, once again, like this is my very first video, so uh, let me know what you guys think about it, but um, uh, the very first time I played this, I actually had to try like three or four different ways to go around but then I found this way and it's actually the easiest way to get past this first wall of light and then the second way is just as easy it's actually really quick so all we're gonna do is we're gonna walk over here jump twice and boom we are past the first wall of light and they have not seen a thing guys look at that so here we go I'm going to help you guys we're going to blink down here over to this alleyway this alleyway, you can't go through there, that'd be a little too easy on your part. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to climb up here and blink down here. And we're going to fall on this rock, land over here, 
one of the things about this game, guys, is that you have a certain amount. So I'm going to push X and regain my mana, and B, and I'll regain my health. All right, guys? That's a heart. I'll explain that later. So, um, guys, I'm only going to be walking you through getting you the achievements. There are many, many things that you can do in this game, such as finding certain objects as heart and bones. I will show you where three are, but that is it because they are on the way with the mission. So here's this guy. We are going, he's pissing over there, so we're just going to sneak on past him and walk past these people. Now there's a Bruner Bone Sharp equipped. So you come over here, you equip the heart, and there it is. You can see it glowing, and your heart also starts really beating. So you can feel it on the controller, it starts to vibrate, and you can see it on the screen. So once again, I'm only going to show you where three are. So here we go, I'm going to, oh, there's my pistol, there's my blink. That's what I want. So, and there's a guard, so we're going to dark vision over here. Guys, another thing about this game that you should know, even the game itself tells you, constantly save, guys, because you're going to find yourself extremely frustrated if you get to a certain point and you get caught, and then you're going to want to restart, and you restart farther than you really think you should have. So constantly, constantly, constantly save. There are times where I follow my own advice and other times that I don't. So, uh here we go he's uh, he'll just walk over here and then we're gonna knock him out um, I didn't explain how we do that so we're gonna go behind him crouch and hold right bumper you hold right bumper and then you hold X and you'll pick him up and then you're gonna drop back down and we're going to drop him right there and you saw the noise that it made so hopefully those guards yeah see they didn't see a thing so we're gonna re-equip our dark vision and blink and there's that guard. We don't really want to mess with him because he doesn't look too friendly. So let's see which way he goes. Right or left, right or left, right or left. Oh, he's just going to stand there. How lovely. Another thing about this game, guys, is time. Time, time, time. It really depends on if you are a very fast, fast gamer or if you don't mind a little bit of a slow challenge. See, you almost saw me. Look at that. So. Uh, I'm going to hop behind here. This is the second wall of light. We're going to drop over here and get over here to this door. Look at that, guys. So we're going to go to the Holliger Square. And we're going to go free someone that we really need to free. And then I will get you the fastest way, in my own opinion, to the High Overseer's office. And then I will show you how we are going to kill the High Overseer without killing the High Overseer. So right now there's Overseer Martin. He's a good guy. He is on our side, so you don't have to worry about him seeing you. Here we go. We are going to kill, knock out this guard. Hold X, carry him, drop him over here. And... They know who you are. I don't really know who they are yet. Oh, you used to be a guard, so they're, uh, they probably know you from that. We're going to release him. I'm going to skip this, guys. You can watch it if you want, but he doesn't really say anything important. So I'm going to re-equip Blink and give me more mana. So we saved Martin. Now time to go save or kill the High Overseer and a general named Corneau or captain or whatever there's a young lady who asked you to save her sorry about that guy I don't know how I felt I've never seen the pathetic of me what the heck it's a rare occurrence but I did hang on I'll get up there eventually out on a retreat we passed through a fishing town and saw him begging what were his crown? There we go. Sorry about that, guys. That was really incredibly annoying. There we go. So they're over here. They're talking about the High Overseer and the Heretic's brand. Uh, wait a minute. I might have wasted too much time. We're going to knock him out. Ah, they saw us. Shoot. Look at that. So, that's why you save. Gotta go over here. Try this again. <clears throat> See, it's really easy to get caught in this game, guys, especially with the higher the difficulty. So, we just freed Martin. Ah, here we go. We're back where we need to be. Using Blink. I'm gonna hop up here. So these guys, these two guards that are over here, 
they're talking about a thing called the Heretic's Brand. And anyone of the Overseers can get it, including the High Overseer guy that is basically in charge of everybody. So they're talking about it. That's exactly what we are going to do to the High Overseer. Anyone who is branded with the Heretic's Brand is uh, will be executed. So, one of the cool things about this game, guys, is that you can look through keyholes. I absolutely love this ability. You look through a door and you find out if there are any guards before they enter. Now, what this is, is play your pathways. Um, there are many different ways that you can get around this. I'm pretty sure there's an up on the roof way if you really want to try that. But I'm going to take you through the sewers in one of the fastest ways that I've found. So, literally, we're just going to hop down here. And you can stand up, you don't have to worry about sound, these guys aren't going to find you, they are nowhere near you, they're all above you, and uh, so, this is what we're going to do, we're just going to keep walking, it takes a little while, but uh, patience is virtue and everything, so, here we go, pick up those coins, just because, uh, money, so, alright, don't have to worry about this at all, making noise, they can't hear you, which is insane, but, who cares. You can pick up these bolts and an elixir, health elixir. So, grab the chain. Chain's a little confusing. You have to look up. Don't look down because if you look down, you start moving down. So, once again, you can look through the keyhole. Don't need to right here because there are no guards. I can personally tell you that. So, here we go. Climbing back up. Back up. Here we go. We're going to go this way I mean, we're literally just gonna walk through the front door guys so here we go we're gonna drop down here this is actually the high overseers secret hideout I have found it I've been inside and I've also found the room so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna equip the dark vision re-equip blink and I'm gonna show you guys there is a rune in here it is right there so see my heart is going crazy beating there are two guys in there right now so you don't have to worry about them but once the high overseer comes down if you don't do it correctly he'll run straight to there and uh, you're gonna have to find your way to get there right now but I'm gonna teach you how to do that without having well I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna teach you how to get up there but I'm gonna teach you how to not have to go find that area so there are two guards over here guys there's the that one over there uh, we're gonna re-equip dark vision just for your sake that guard right there and then his buddy on the other side exact same location so I'm gonna hop up right here he is going to turn and look right there at the staircase looking at the rats and um, don't have to worry about him we're gonna knock him out when we get the shot so here we go we're gonna climb up here and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't guys if, it, if the little thing at the bottom of the right hand side disappears it's not gonna work and you're gonna blocking which you don't truly want to do so we're going to drop him right there on this nice couch. Nice and comfortable for him. Blink over here. And then there are guys over there. Don't worry about them. Don't mess with them. Just stay crouched. Stay quiet. There's a guard right here. Oh, yeah, and he saw us. Look at that guy. See? So, I thought he was going to turn the other way. He normally does turn the other way. So, if that happens, um, that's why you take your time, remember? So... You can possess things, you can, this game is really, honestly, full limits, I mean, other than the fact that there's a story that you have to play through, it's not like GTA, but, um, it is a, uh, it, it, there's, there's a lot of things that you can do, you have a lot of abilities and a lot of, um, options, so, remember, don't worry about him, he's just gonna keep walking. And actually going to try to save time and knock him out right now. And I'm just going to let him drop. Alright, so here we go. Let's see where his buddy is. Alright, he's walking down. He's going to stop and look at that painting. Alright, and then we're going to go and knock him out. There we go. So one of the coolest parts about this game, guys, is you are literally the ultimate assassin in this, so you knock people out, you can kill them, there are hundreds of different ways to kill people, and um, one of the really, the, the coolest parts for me about this game is that you can get into any nook and cranny that you really have to get into, so watch, I'm going to show you, we're going to take this path, we're going to go up on the roof, let my mana recharge a little bit, 
and look at this. We are on the whoops NFL. So sometimes it happens, but anyway, we are on the roof and the guards can't see us at all. Oh, and I missed. Shoot, what the heck? Hang on guys. I'm in a little bit of trouble there. There we go. Alright. So, alright guys, that is the High Overseer's office, and don't worry, we'll be there in a few seconds, but right now I'm going to teach you how we're going to kill the High Overseer without actually having to kill him. So, in here is a library, and it says right here with uh, 10 meters, the branding instructions. So what we're going to do is, once we're going to, first we're going to restore mana, we're going to equip our dark vision, we're going to look for the enemy. I don't see him, but I'm pretty sure he's over there. I know there's a guy right there, so here we go. Drop down. Read this. You don't even have to read it. Just It says that you read it, and then climb up here and back through the way that we just went. And there's the meeting chambers, guys. Now, once again, remember that I am not the best at following my own advice, but truly recommend that you save because here's what we're going to do. First off, I'm going to show you this is another rune so you can pick that bad boy up and look for the other ones if you really, really want to find them. Go ahead, guys. That's up to you. But um, right now, what I'm going to teach you is we are going to knock out with our sleeping dart. Now, crossbow, this uh, game is consistent of many, many different weapons, but uh, right now, we're only going to use the sleeping uh, dart crossbow and these guys are in that door and we're gonna wait right outside the window and then we're gonna knock them out and uh, time for drinks he says once the bell rings um, we are going to knock him out carry him over to the branding room and we're going to give him the heretics brand and that is how we're going to kill him without killing him so it's really pretty simple guys um, look at that we're not even what 17 minutes oh look at that and we're almost done already so here we go they're going to unlock the door and then I'm going to save guys which I highly recommend you do because it is incredibly frustrating nothing is more frustrating than getting this far getting to this area and see there in plain view getting into this area and then getting seen or getting killed and trust me it's the most annoying thing so here we're gonna save right here and we are going to knock both of those gentlemen out real quickly. Here they come. The High Overseer is the one in red, and Captain Carnot, the man that you can save or kill, it's your choice, uh, is, well, not your choice right now if you really want to be the ultimate pacifist. But um, Captain Carnot is the man that we are supposed to save for his niece. So knock him out. Stand back up, guys, I recommend. And we're going to knock Captain Carnot back out. Alright, so neither one of them saw us, so they just knocked out like crazy. We're going to loot them, pick up the High Overseer, and we're going. I'm going to take him outside. You guys can put him in that little corner where I'm going to put Captain Carnot, because you don't want to be caught, remember? So, here we go. They have two soldiers waiting outside that door, so I do not recommend that you move slowly. You really, really, really need to move faster. And the guards, for some reason, never look over here, so I'm going to put his body right there. We'll be coming back to that momentarily. So one of the cool things about this game, guys, is with the ability to blink, you can also blink while carrying someone, and I absolutely find that fascinating because they, uh, in most games, you wouldn't have the ability to do such a thing. So I'm going to equip Dark Vision. Here's the guard, and we are going to blink right past... Oh, wait, real fast. We're going to... Put him down because we are going to knock out that guard but first we're going to save remember save 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 because if you don't save here and you die or you get caught you will regret it so we're going to overwrite the save and we're going to keep going we're going to blink past the guard climb through the window blink behind the guard and knock him out and all i'm going to do is pick him up and carry him over the ledge and go place the guard right here. You're not killing him, all you're doing is knocking him out. So we're going to drop him right there. And as long as you don't throw him off the edge, you should be fine. So, alright, there's that guard. He's knocked out. There's another guard who can be pesky depending on what location you are. Here's the branding room. So, we're going to enter through here and we're going to place him in the chair. 
That's gonna go to a little video-ish type move. We're gonna close this door, and we're gonna re-equip Dark Vision. Ah, here's the guard. Let's see what he does. Looks at the door. Give it one moment, guys. You won't stay hidden for long. All right, guys. We don't have to worry about him. So we're gonna climb up here on this chain. Up, oh, but we might have to worry about his buddy. Hang on. Nah, we shouldn't. No, we're good. All right. So we're gonna climb up on that chain. We're going to get back into dark vision and blink. I'm gonna knock him out, guys, just for my own sake, just for safety. Uh, it's different every game, so don't think that following me... I'm just trying to get you through a walkthrough, so there we go, I dropped his body, alright? There are two more guards in the library that we still have to worry about, but just for the time being, I'm gonna knock them out and make sure that they don't bother with my plans. I'm not seeing anything, guys. We're gonna quit blink. We're going to climb up the chain. Hop off onto this little path. Of the pipes. Keep walking. So we're gonna go right here where the Heretic's brand is. We're gonna pick it up. And once you brand him, it auto saves, so you shouldn't have to worry. Wait, here comes someone. I know you're somewhere around here. Nice. Oh, I'll find you. Oh, boy. Hang on, guys. I know you're here. or see us, so we're going to drop him right there. Really quick dark vision. Not seeing him, guys. Alright, there he is. He's walking that way. I'm going to brand him real quickly. And once you brand him, even if you get... You're not going to get caught branding him, but if you get caught, if they find him, if they raise the alarm, it's okay. You've already gotten far enough. So you don't have to worry about it. He has been branded, and you have killed him, basically, without killing him. So look at that, guys. We are more than halfway done. There's the guard. Dark vision. Blink. I'm going to knock him out. And just leave him. So, alright, guys. Once again, we're going to hop out this window. You have the option, this is totally your choice. I'm doing this because it's really easy and it's just something that'll get you quick bucks. Here's Captain Kano. We're going to pick up his body for his niece. And we're going to take his body to a safe location. Right there, 64 meters away. It's really easy to get to, don't worry about it guys. And so what we're going to do is we're going to blink down here safely without killing ourselves there there's a guard there's a guard shouldn't have to worry about him turn on dark vision if you'd like don't have to it's your choice there are the guards so that one's walking away don't have to worry about him we're going to put him in the safe location. And now you are hidden behind the trash can. How nice of the game to do that for you. We blink. Whoa. Right there. Careful, guys. Because Blink will go all over the place. You're going to meet Samuel. And we are basically done with this. All we have to do is get you to Samuel without being seen, which is really easy, guys. So we're almost done. Just give me a little bit. 
while it's loading. See, this game takes a while to load, too. So here we have a little skirmish going on, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to knock out both these guards because this guy's going to give us a little bit of valuable, valuable information. I'm not going to help you guys find it. Once again, uh, my friend Vorpal Blade is doing achievement hunting. So he is probably going to walk through. Oh, hang on. They're going to start killing each other. He doesn't see us. He's only fighting him. Alright. So we knocked him out. I don't think we were seeing guys. I've never had that happen before. You appeared as if from nowhere. So we, we helped him. Dead, he is on our side. He is not a bad guy, guys. He's going to tell you, you that there is a safe and that you can get the money first, from the I safe. The way to thank you. And the combination in the is two zero three. Really easy. Uh, you guys can find it if you'd like. That's totally up to you. Once again, all I'm here to do is get you through without being seen. So I'm pretty sure I just did that because the uh, lightning bolts did not flash or um, turn red. So we should be fine. I'm pretty sure the safe is down there. But once again, not not here for that. So here we go. There's a guard up there. And he doesn't turn around. I think he starts to walk away eventually. So, here yeah, we're gonna just pop down here and knock him out because why not? Just for the fun of it. Alright, here we go. And we stole his key. We don't have to worry about being quiet. We're gonna go through this door, unlock it, climb up here. Get you guys to Samuel. One second, there's a guard down here. Quick dark vision. Just blink. Samuel's right over there with the boat. So, go. Drop down. Over. Knock him out. Keep walking. Don't have to worry about any other guards. You can look for the mana and you can try to find certain things, but there's Samuel right there with the boat. We're gonna climb on down. Because it's so time consuming, I am eventually, once I get to a safe enough spot, I'm gonna blink. There we go. Alright, guys. So, that is it. It's Samuel. That is it. That's all you guys have to do. I am officially done with my very first video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to do about 10 more, as many levels as it takes. I'm going to help you guys walk through on the highest difficulty and help you guys get through without being seen. So here we're going to say yes, take me back to the Hounds of Pits. And guys, thank you very much for watching. I am Dunder Mifflin 7. We are the Gaming Musketeers. I'm going to walk through real quick. See, didn't kill anyone, never detected, dead or unconscious bodies found three. Well, that's okay, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm really looking forward to starting this out with my friends. Check us out. Thanks, guys. Bye.